Hello people of Earth, this is Dan Lockhart of the Ride of the Valkyrie Dan Lockhart YouTube channel and I'm doing an introduction for a ride that I did back from Rico, Colorado. Rico, or for down in the Italia ride, Uray, Ridgeway, and then US 50, back to Gunnison and then back home from there. Hope you have a great day. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. But as you can see, uh, Things are starting to change here weather-wise, and it won't be too much longer. Well, you can see streaks of yellow up on the mountain over here, uh, right around here. The aspens are starting to turn, and it's been quite a bit colder. We've had three days this week where we had frost in the morning. But uh, anyway, yeah, riding season is gonna be coming to an end soon. Unfortunately. <laughs> Moose and bear. They're not happy and walking in front of their house. This is Rico. Rico is an unincorporated small town on Dolores County, Colorado, United States. It was settled in 1879 as a silver mining center in a pioneer mining district. Today it functions as a historic and tourism site. The population was 265 at the 2010 census, up from 205 in the 2000 census. The town motto for Rico is a slice of paradise. Well, I had been riding in the canyons and around the mesas up in the western part of the state the previous two days, and I was very excited about getting back into the mountains and with the scenery coming up, I think you'll see why. This is Colorado 145, it's also known as the San Juan Scenic Skyway.
The forest here smelled amazingly fresh, really beautiful. This is the highway that connects Rico to Telluride, Colorado. Well, it looks like I'm going to get rained on in this ride, but I never did, actually. I got a little bit ahead of the storm. All the footage that I used in this video was created by my GoPro Max 360 camera. You can see wildflowers on the side of the road. This curvy mountain road was really fun for me to ride. This range right here was super beautiful. It had this little lake uh, down in front of the mountains. So I think that lake may be called Trout Lake. 
It's not too far from Telluride. There are a lot of wealthy people that live in this area and it's not hard to see why. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Just around every corner, it got prettier and prettier. Amazing. There were quite a few people on this highway, of course, this was peak summertime tourism. I can imagine this road gets a little bit tricky in the winter time with ice and snow. Well, I've never skied at the Telluride ski area, and I probably never will because Cresta Butte has very, very good skiing, good conditions, and uh, I think it'd be kind of a drag to drive over here in the winter time. Telluride has been noted for having a lot of rich and famous people that 
have properties there like Tom Cruise, Oprah, Jerry Seinfeld. But I recently went looking and it looks like Tom Cruise just sold his property for around $40 million there. And Seinfeld has two properties listed there. I don't know if they've sold yet. Nope, we're still there. It looks like she's still building. I can imagine it'd be pretty expensive to maintain some of those big mountain properties that these stars have. And I can see why maybe if you couldn't live there year round, why well, you might be interested in selling them. I'm not sure if I've been on the San Juan Scenic Skyway before, but it sure was beautiful. And I really appreciated having the opportunity to ride this highway this summer. Absolutely outstanding. Well, I didn't actually ride into the town I tell you ride on this trip, but I've included a couple of shots from a previous trip. Hope you like them. I'm getting a lot closer to home now because I'm in the little Wood Creek Canyon here and on the left hand side up on top you'll see a memorial that was made for the construction company owner who was uh, actually uh, died in a rock fall in the first year of the construction so they put a memorial up on the side of the mountain for him. Well, I had to wait about 30 minutes because of this construction here in the canyon. Uh, their schedule is looking like they'll be under construction next summer as well, and they intend to wrap it up next summer, so that'll be a good thing. It's going to be a pleasure to drive through there without having to deal with this. It's been dirt roads and stop traffic, and, you know, I mean, this is uh, its third year now, and... I'm looking forward to the completion of this construction.
Well, this is going to wrap up my last video from my 800 mile loop and I hope that you enjoyed them and liked them. If you can, leave me a comment and I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Have a great day.